Hi guys, welcome to FNS Bushcraft. Uh, this week we'll be starting something fresh and new um, and alongside the normal videos every week which we'll be continuing on uh, with the treehouse uh, we're now going to be starting uh, a new type of video where it will only be short, a couple of minutes at most uh, where we'll showcase some bushcraft techniques uh, and skills uh, so you can take some information and skills away from the video and hopefully you can apply that to your own bushcraft experience. Um, so on this week we're going to be starting by showcasing how to process small firewood um, by using a knife, a bushcraft knife, um, and this, this technique is going to be called <laughs> batoning. So what I've done uh, to make this process easier, uh, which I recommend you can do as well, is either get a log um, and shave a flat surface on it or get a stone or something with a flat surface on it. Something hard so your knife isn't bouncing on the floor or in the dirt. Um, so you've got your small piece of wood, make sure it's no thicker uh, than the length of your blade um, because you're going to want part of your blade to stick out on the other side of the wood if you can see that. So that's perfect for this knife and this knife by the way is a a condor bush law. Um, so what you're going to want to do is get yourself a hefty log, branch or stick, whatever, something heavy um, and you're going to want to start by holding your knife firmly in your preferred hand, place the knife on the piece of wood um, with enough distance either side and in the centre Right, you're going to want to make sure that your knife isn't anywhere near anything important or you're not going to hurt yourself so you're going to want to hit your knife right in the middle like this give it a good whack and you're going to want enough downward pressure on your hand to combat the the force of the log sometimes it doesn't split first time but again, that depends on the piece of wood you've got. So just safely remove your knife from the log or the piece of wood and try it again. There we go. And there you have. We've now split the piece of wood down. Um, and if, if you want smaller pieces of wood then you can do this again just halfway again put your knife in the middle and then on the edge and I'll show that again bit slower so knife preferably on the belly of the knife firm grip hit the knife and then as the knife sits in the wood you want to then hit the nose of the knife and there uh, you can now process small pieces of wood for a fire, for a small fire with your knife and you don't need an axe or any bigger equipment. Thanks for watching guys, catch you next week.